Donna Spencer, Managing and Artistic Director of the Fire Hall Art Center, is a woman firmly committed to the arts and very well respected by her colleagues. At least I think she is. Five, six, seven, eight. D-O-N-N-A, 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 and Donna was her name, Mom. Oh. Donna? Donna who? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fire Hall, oh, the Fire Hall, the Fire Hall, Art, Center. Fire Hall Art Center. Where your host, where your host, the artistic, the artistic, and managing director, and managing the director, director, the, the wonderful, great, the Donna wonderful Spencer Donna Rizzi. Spencer Rizzi. Yes, sir. Let me take yes, you on a tour. Let me take you on a tour in the theater. Oh, look at there. Donna uh, is the only person I know who has her own bronze star outside the door of the Fire Hall, so that's important. And uh, she's also been known to come into the Touchstone office and buy cigarettes, two for a quarter. Although she hasn't recently, it's true. That's Donna. Donna Spencer is a woman of many talents. Beginning her career as an actress in the early 70s, she eventually moved on to administrative, technical, and creative positions with City Stage, Carousel Theatre, and Stage 33. In addition to her duties as artistic and managing director of the Fire Hall Arts Centre, Donna Spencer also enjoys the title of founding director of the Vancouver Cultural Alliance and chairperson for the Vancouver Council Committee for the Arts. I caught up with Donna at the Fire Hall Arts Centre on the corner of Cordova and Gore, where I asked her what made her turn to producing and directing. Uh, it must personality flaw, perhaps, I don't know. No, I don't know. I, I, the first acting class I went to, I made the announcement that I was going to be a director and a producer, and I certainly had no idea what that meant at that time. So I don't know, it's one of, the, one of those things that happens. All of a sudden you find yourself working for a goal, or towards a goal, and you're not quite sure why you made that decision, but it's been the right, I mean, it's obviously been the right one for me. What is the greatest thing that you've learned out of the whole experience? Uh, probably patience. I mean, I, I'm mm -hmm. a far more patient person than I used to be, and I find that it's very valuable in the kind of work I do, because funding doesn't always happen like this if you're looking for funds for a project. And when you're directing a show, it doesn't come together if you get anxious and yell at people. So I've, I think patience is probably one of the things that I've learned. And people around here keep calling me mum. Uh, I don't like that particularly, but it seems to carry forward in my work that I this need to nurture and this need to make sure that everybody is all right. Donna Spencer, just like my mum, or uh, just a slightly older sister, actually. Um, well, younger sister, perhaps. Uh, Donna. I can sum it up in a couple of words. How much is that going to cost? Uh, Donna? Yeah, she's a great person. I mean, she loves Chinese food. The only thing that bugs me, though, is, like, she's great at using chopsticks, but I have to ask for a fork. Donna has directed a range of plays, from the socially relevant extremities, the story of a woman's revenge on her sexual attacker, to Neil Simon's comedy, The Good Doctor. Presently, she is breaking new ground with cross-cultural theatre. Donna explains. What I like to see us say we're doing is Canadian theatre. By doing Canadian theatre, you involve artists of all colours. Um, you involve uh, playwrights of all colours. Uh, it becomes cross-cultural because the majority of Canadian theatre does not deal with artists from all cul cultures. It does not deal with writers from all cultures. Is this being done elsewhere in, in Canada or is this pretty well the only place? I understand that we are the only company of this nature. There are companies, there are, there are certainly native performing companies, there are some black, black um, uh, performing companies, but I don't know of any company, professional company, that is actually working with people of all, all uh, backgrounds, all heritages. Did you set out to do that specific thing at, at the time that you started here? Or has it evolved? It, it evolved. It actually, um, 
we started to talk more seriously about creating a theater company. I think it was around 1985. I think how, I guess how it all happened was the board of directors and myself started realizing that really if we wanted to do theater that was true to our beliefs, we, we should pursue um, a company that involved um, artists from all backgrounds and, and uh, actors don't grow unless they get the opportunity to work. So it's a bit of a catch-22. You don't have, you might not have any Canadian, Japanese, uh, performers, and the reason would be because they aren't getting a lot of work, so they don't get a chance to grow. Donna, um, I work here, and I don't really want to talk about her because uh, she scares me. When she's yelled at me, boy, do I feel intimidated. <laughs> Gee, what, what can I say about Donna? There's just so much I could say about Donna. Let's see. <laughs> Nah. Donna. Uh, she's the one with dark hair. Yeah, oh yeah, I remember Donna. Yeah, I remember Donna. She was, she was here last week or something. But, but anyways, if you really want a good show to see, see a comic's tale. It's running now, Fire Hall Arts Center, until the 28th of April. It's a great show. It's got cartoon artistry throughout it, an elaborate soundscape, and a, a, an interesting mix of physical theater. It's really a fabulous show. But what about Donna? Donna? Donna who? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me.